my name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. And today we're gonna be trying some fun hacks using 3D pens. My little channel we all know and love called Five Minute Crafts. Okay, let's see what the first one is. Say you've just been sitting in your bed using your phone, but you have no place to put it. Where the heck are you supposed to put this thing? You got no side table? What are you gonna do? Just go ahead and craft yourself a phone holder. Just get your 3D pen, make some lines like this, reinforce it a little bit, and once you got the general shape, you go ahead and make the rest of it. You make yourself a box. A lot of people are gonna be telling you to think outside the box. I'm telling you, need a box, you know? Just make yourself a box. Perfect, you got yourself a little phone holder. You just have to make sure to leave a little spot for where your cord goes. This'll be fun. Can't wait to have myself a fun little phone holder. Okay, so I don't really have a lot of experience with 3D pens. Uh, this is actually the first time I'm really using one. This brown stuff, I swear it is chocolate. It is not, um, uh, <laughs> Anyway, sorry, that's the, I should really wash my hands. Okay, that's better. Um, anyway, I don't really wanna go and just put a bunch of 3D pen stuff all over my phone and then it end up melting my phone screen. That doesn't sound very fun. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to do a general outline. There we go. Because I don't think uh, it really has to be like 100% accurate. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna use this parchment paper as as the an outline for how big I need it to be. And I'm gonna go ahead and thumbtack it down so that it stays flat. Boobity boop. This is the only real way I've found that parchment paper stays flat. Uh, I've tried tape and it just doesn't work very well. So thumbtacks, uh, thumbtacks gotta do. Now that we got the general shape, we're gonna go ahead and break out our 3D pen. And I'm hoping I used this correctly. It says it fell asleep. What does that mean? I guess I have to wait for it to heat up. Oh, I can already tell this is gonna be annoying. Okay, here we go. It's doing a thing. It's doing a thing. <gasps> and it stopped. That's all I get. That's all I get. Oh no. This is going to be a long process. I can already tell. It just doesn't want to go straight. If I do it on wood, does it does it stay straight? We'll try it on my phone, okay? Five minute crafts has never let me down before. It has to heat up. Oh. I also bought a second 3D pen, uh, that way, while well, one is heating up, I'll just use the other one, and, you know, vice versa. Apparently, I can put it on this, uh, clear mat thing. I'm hoping this method works. Yeah, double pens! I feel like half my life, I'm going to be just waiting for these pens to heat up. I can retell that this is going to take forever. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's still... Uh, pretty flimsy too. Mm. Oh boy, this is gonna take a while. Okay, okay, peel this bad boy off. That's still very flimsy. I feel like I can break this very easily. I don't know how I feel about this. Well, uh, I guess we'll make the rest of it. Okay, so after um, a quick discovery, I'm starting to think that this clear piece of plastic wasn't to 3D print on, because now it is stuck. What have I done? Oh no. Well, gotta start all over. How am I so good at this? <sighs> I found this little finger glove that it comes with, so I won't burn myself. <gasps> and I just broke it. Wait, no I did not. We are good. Okay, hopefully uh, this will help us out a little bit. Okay, so I finished the bottom and it is perfectly even with, oh no. <laughs> Well, time to try and uh, put them together, I guess. Okay, so I'm actually gonna put my phone in as a spacer. Oh my gosh. It doesn't really even, uh, I don't even know if this will fit. <laughs> what have I done? Okay, now I gotta make the sidewalls and uh, hope that I can get this to work. Okay, sidewalls are done. I mean, it's not the best case I've ever seen and it's very like flimsy. Like, look at that. <laughs> uh, oh, no, the side just broke off. Guys, overall, I think I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't really work. I don't know what the heck I'm doing wrong. Maybe I just need to practice, but I feel like 3D pen plastic isn't really supposed to hold a lot of weight. And maybe my phone's just really big. But yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't trust this thing to really hold my phone for a long time. Anyway, doesn't work. Okay, so you're out in public and you see a super dirty elevator button. Ew, you don't wanna touch that. A random guy comes up and he's like, hey, I got the stuff. Sanitizers, masks. Wipes, you name it, we got it, okay? This man's your hookup. This is like how it was at the beginning of quarantine. You guys remember that? Dang, $30 for paper towels? That's not too far off. $90 for masks? Woo! 
Oh, they're really getting you there, aren't they? But you got yourself an even better solution. Just get yourself a glove filled with who the heck knows what and start covering one of the fingers with 3D pen filament. Slip that bad boy on your finger and you got yourself an elevator button presser. Don't need this guy. Huh. You know, I think it would be easier just to cut off the fingers of the glove, but this is definitely a more reusable solution, so might as well try it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is a glove. Now I'm gonna stuff one of the fingers with paper towels. Boop, boop, boop. Come on, get in there. This really isn't very form-fitting to the finger. Well, it's uh, it's good enough. This looks so weird. Okay, now we just uh, cover this in the 3D pen to make our weird finger protector thing. Boop, boop, boop. It really doesn't like to stick to the glove. How do they do it so easily? So it looks like they started out an up and down motion like this. Oh no. Why do I suck at this so bad? There we go. Looks good. Now we just gotta do the rest of the finger. This is gonna take a little while. Oh! Ow! Well, it's not a Robbie video unless I burned myself with the 3D pen. That doesn't sound right. Honestly, I could just cut the rest of this off. Boopity boop. Perfect. Now I have nothing to get in my way. It sounded a lot more evil than I than I anticipated it to be. This is taking so long. Okay, and this is uh what we ended up with. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but I think it'll work. If I really wanted to, I could probably sand this down so that it's nice and smooth, but I feel like that would take a lot of work and uh, uh eh, effort. <laughs> okay, so now I gotta try and get this out without ripping the glove. <gasps> it just comes right out, perfect. But does my finger fit? Let's find out. And... I mean, it doesn't go into the very tip of it, but uh, yeah, you can almost make yourself a finger cast with this. This is pretty cool. And this is solid. I'm actually kind of impressed with this. Well guys, I guess we're out to say that this one works. Here's how to make yourself a fancy ball. Okay, so for this one, you're gonna need a balloon and just start wrapping your 3D filament all around it. Just keep going and going and going. Just pop the balloon, slide it right out. And now you got yourself a fancy decorative ball. First things first, we grab our balloon, blow this bad boy up. This is kind of big. <laughs> it's fine. Big balloon. Now we just cover it in 3D pen filament. Boop, boop, boop. I really hope this doesn't pop. This is like hot filament. Oh man, I can already tell that this is gonna take a sec. Oh, I should have gotten a better 3D pen. So the balloon popped on its own, and uh, this does not hold up its shape very well. I mean, the top part kind of is, but as a whole, not really. So I'm thinking maybe I can blow up a balloon inside of it and uh, keep doing this, and then hopefully it won't pop again. <laughs> I think I might have broken some stuff, but it looks like it's kind of working. Well, don't need this anymore. I guess we just uh, keep going. Oh my gosh. So far, I don't really like this. <laughs> Like, it doesn't seem to be holding up very well in general. But I'm gonna add uh, some more layers and we will see how it turns out. And the second balloon has popped and it is still not very structurally sound. Ah! I actually ran out of pink so I started using orange. I mean, it's basically the same color, right? I don't know if I just have a really crappy 3D pen or like, cause I've been doing this for over an hour and like, it's just not turning out very well. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. It's a thumbs down down for me. Here's how to make yourself a fun little rig. Get yourself a marker. Just start making outlines of leaves. Fill it in a little bit. Keep going all the way around your pen. Slide it right off. And boom! You got yourself a fancy little rig. Wow! So cool! I can't wait to have myself a fancy ring like this one. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is a pen. This looks like it's about the size of my finger. Uh, it should fit, right? I mean, hopefully. Now I gotta try and make the leaves. Let's see. I mean, it's kind of a leaf. Look, I'm not that great at drawing, okay? I can barely even draw in 2D, let alone 3D, come on. I think I'm gonna start off with the stem, then I'll add the leaves a little bit later. I'm trying to think maybe I should have chose a different color. It's cause you can't really see it on the black part of this pen. Okay, I did the vine, now I'm gonna go ahead and do the leaves. I'm gonna use green filament for the leaves just to make it stick out a little bit, I think. Ah! I hate how this gets tangled. Not gonna lie, this is my introduction to 3D pens, and I'm not a very big fan so far. Like, what even, what is going on with it? It just doesn't want to do the thing. Yeah, that looks just like a leaf. Can I take this off? Oh god, I just broke that off. Now it's going back on the, the pen. Gonna try and remake this leaf. 
Yeah, I guess that looks a little bit more like a leaf. Yikes. Okay, and uh, yeah. So we made all of our uh, leaf shapes. I mean, it doesn't look very good, but it'll have to do. Now I gotta try and slide it off without damaging it, which I think I already did. Oh no. And all the leaves fell off. Oh no, that's not good. But will it fit on my finger? <gasps> what? Oh, another leaf broke off. Wow, it's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> what a great 3D pen ring. Oh, the details that you can really achieve with these things. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Oh gosh, oh no. It's very weak though. Are you tired of the ear straps over your mask hurting your ears? Oh, they're so sore. Well, here's an easy solution. All you gotta do is make yourself an S hook out of 3D filament, pull it right up, and use it to connect your ear straps. Slide it right over your neck, and boom, problem solved. This one seems pretty handy. Let's try it out. Okay, so S hook, this is gonna be pretty easy. So we just gotta make an S. I'm gonna make an outline with this pen, just to, you know, really make sure that I get it. S. How hard could this be? Am I right? Yeah. Okay, pull this guy up. I'm gonna reinforce it just a little bit. There we have it, we got ourselves an S hook. Let's try it to see if it works. Okay, S hook, mask. Now we're just going to put the S hook right on the mask like that. Put it over our face. We're gonna connect it right there. Wow! Yeah. It looks like it's actually working. It's holding to my face and it's not on my ears, so that's handy. Hey well, guys, I guess we were gonna have to say that this one works. Okay, so you're in the middle of getting ready for work, school, whatever the heck it is you do. Boom! You break your freaking comb. All the bristles are gone. You just use this thing to the bone. Just get yourself an outline of a comb, start filling it in, and make yourself a new one. We are here for crafty solutions. Don't have a comb, just 3D print yourself a new one. That easy, gosh. You really wanna go crazy, you can decorate it too. I don't know if I wanna go that far. <laughs> I just want to know if this would be a real utility you can use. That should be the goal for this one. Well, let's find out. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is find a comb outline. Perfect. Went ahead and printed it out with my crummy printer. And we're gonna go ahead and print it out in real life with my crappy 3D pen printer. That loves to go to sleep after 30 seconds. Yay. Okay, now we just gotta fill this guy in. Let's hope uh, this goes smoothly. Okay, we're all done printing it out. Now try and take it off the paper. Please don't break, please don't break. Ugh, maybe I shouldn't have used paper. I'm not really sure what kind of surface I'm supposed to use uh, with this 3D pen. I guess if I was a little bit smarter, I would have Googled it and you know came into this a lot more prepared, but I guess it doesn't look bad for like my first try making a comb. Now let's try it. Ooh, okay, let's hope this doesn't get stuck in my hair. You guys ready for this? Oh, I already broke it. Ah! Ouch! I mean, it's working for all intents and purposes. Okay, I'm just gonna break this part off. Oh, got some hair. I think it's kind of because some of the 3D pen is pretty scraggly and it really likes to hold on to your hair. But I mean, it's kind of working. We have this much of the comb left. Ugh, don't need that anymore. Ugh, look at all that hair that it took out. <laughs> well guys, I guess we could say that this guy actually works. Here's a fun little trick. All you gotta do is get a random object, put it on your phone screen, and then you can outline it. How fun! Wow, you can literally make anything with this 3D pen. You can make a ladybug, you can make a leaf. Wow! How cute! Put the ladybug on the leaf, maybe add a straw. What are they gonna do with the straw? I don't know. Oh, they made it into a little earring. That's fun. I like it. Yeah, I'm down to see if this one will work. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna have to find images for whatever we're gonna try and make. So I'm gonna look up a uh, pizza. Yeah, this ought to work. Okay, I'm just hoping that this isn't too advanced for me. Okay, this one looks good. Okay, yeah, I'll do this one. Okay, now that we have our image, just uh, use a 3D pen and hopefully it doesn't mess up my screen. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the uh, general shape. Here we go. Please don't break my phone. This is definitely proving to be a lot harder than I thought. The screen keeps moving. Let me do the crust. Now we do the cheese. I feel like I, I, I can do this on paper pretty easily. So I think I'm gonna switch to paper for a little bit. But you can't see the yellow on this yellow background. So it looks like we're switching to white. No, I broke it. I'll just uh, continue doing the, the, the cheese and then I'll fix this later, I guess. 
So now that we did the cheese, uh, we're gonna fill in the crust. Okay, now we just add the little pepperonis. Okay, and uh, it looks kind of similar. Yeah, I did an okay job, I'd say. Now it's time to try and uh, take it off the paper. Hopefully it actually comes off. Oh my gosh, I hope I don't break this. <gasps> It's coming off. It's working. It's working. <gasps> yes, I did it! I now have a little pizza! Woo! Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. It turned out pretty cool, too. Like, uh, not bad. Pretty good for my first try, I think. Awesome. Totally works. Hey! Well, okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Look some of this fight right down there. If you guys like this video, you guys want to watch me try even more fun life hacks from 5 Minute Crafts. I have a whole playlist that I can be doing that right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell, all that fun stuff. If you guys want any of my merch, you can click right here. And if none of that stuff sounds fun, you can always click the mystery card. Okay, guys, I love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi Fi. I'm gonna